Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Trenton Sanderson you're on the infamous Living Room Network. Um, I'm sorry, folks. I know you folks probably were expecting me live at six o'clock, but I, I was a little late getting here home. Um, I was behind a three car pileup. Like, if I was riding the back of the car in front of me, I would have been in a pileup too. But instead, I'm just riding in my car. Um, I got a plate of Jamaican food in my lap. Um, some potato salad, some candied yams some beef stew with the rice and all that stuff and i'm just riding just eating music loud and man i'm just in there trying to get to you guys at six o'clock and right before me is a three car pile of boom 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 i'm just looking like fork in my mouth like and so i'm i'm going to the side and looking at the rate like too bad for you i'm going home <laughs> So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's dangerous out there. And um, speaking of the highway, um, a wise man once told me, if you don't take the lead, nobody else will. Or if you don't take the lead, somebody else will, and you'll be the one following. Or you'll be the one to get left behind. Or you'll be the one tagging along behind a person that's driving slow. You know, and that's just how you have to be in life. You have to be a take charge person. You have to be the one to make the split second decision to say, you know what, I'm going to do it now. I'm not going to wait and do it. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to get it done now. You know, the problem with most people that you probably know is that they take the time out to wonder all the time. I wonder if this is going to happen. I wait Tuesday and I wait Wednesday. What about Thursday? No, I'm going to do it next week. No, next month I'm going on my diet. Oh, this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a big house. I'm going to get a fancy car. Oh, I'm going to go buy me a dog when they go on sale for $2.99. Oh, I'm going to get me a cat and I'm going to mate it with my neighbor's cat and we're going to have cat babies next year. I'm going to do that next year. They never get to it. They never get to it. But we do here on the Living Room Network, guys. Oh, man. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And, and it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to actually be able to give you advice and stuff like that. Because I know we talk about all kind of stuff on a regular basis anyway. Because I'm talking to all you guys all the time anyway. But, um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, guys. Make sure at the very you go to the very bottom of this video today and uh, click that first link in there. And sign up and become an official realm team member don't just be a subscriber and don't just be a watcher become a player you know become a part of the team and play with us guys on the inside of the house um because we're having a good time in here but it's very important that you actually sign up and it's just a small fee but it actually gives you access to everything we're doing here inside the living room network those of you who know what the word network mean that means we're big you know on the inside you know and so that's what life is all about guys it's about cultivating yourself making yourself better on the inside other people lives better and the world a better place but i, I went through some stuff man like I, I used to have panic attacks and anxiety attacks a lot and let me let me give my testimony a little bit for those of you who want to know you know what it's like to go through some hard shit um i'm only 27 years old and um i don't been through some shit man for real like, and that's simply because, and I'm going to be real with you guys real quick. And just don't mind me being real. You got to be real, bro. Sometimes you feel me. And um, so that's only because I've always been wanting to make myself better than I was yesterday. Like, I've always been trying to go forward and press and press and press to make something great of myself. And, you know, to, you know, have a good image, you know, and, and stuff like that. And just to make people know you know, that I was a great person, but, um, I used to have panic attacks a lot and that's cause I was on the road of spiritual growth. I was learning, you know, I was coming to realize myself, but in order to do that, I had to get knowledge. I had to learn stuff. You can't just expect to just know something and just know it, you know, not unless somebody tell you or not unless you learn on yourself, you know, then you will know the information. But, um, yeah, I was to the point where I was actually just overloading myself with knowledge. And I began to have these panic attacks and these anxiety attacks because I didn't know what to think. My mind was all over the place. Can you imagine your mind just having all these different perceptions, these thoughts, these notions, these concepts and these images in your head because you don't have any direction? At that time, I didn't have no direction as to what I wanted to do with my life, where I wanted to go. 
who I wanted to be, who I wanted to see, who I wanted to be with, none of that stuff. I just knew that I needed to be smarter. I just knew that I needed to be more knowledgeable in order to get where I want to go because you have to know where you're going and actually before you get there. You have to have a roadmap and the stuff in front of you so you can read it and actually know before you actually go there what it's going to be like on your way there. You know what I'm saying? It's called information. And so I used to have a lot of panic and, and attacks and anxiety attacks and stuff like that. And the only way I overcome it is when I started meditating. And that's one thing you got to do to overcome panic and anxiety attacks and stuff like that. God, just calm yourself down and just meditate and just relax and just know that it's not that serious sometimes. You know, it took me a while to get to that point where I began to just know that it's not that serious. Because I take everything serious. I'm a Sagittarius. And um, meditation helped me a lot. Just, you know, really laying down in the bed, counting to 10, taking deep breaths. You know, that stuff helped me a lot. Um, if you don't know, guys, I had a YouTube channel before this channel. And I had hundreds of videos, just like I do now. But I deleted it all, you know. And that's simply because I was going through that phase. I was going through that phase where I thought that I had to be a certain type of way in order for people to accept me. And so, um, I'm luckily, I'm not that person today. But looking back on it, I, I feel these emotions and energy that I used to feel. So, if you don't mind me venting, I might have the answers to some of your questions. Another thing that I was really, you know, into was like drug activity. You know, I used to sell marijuana. I used to smoke marijuana. I had friends around me that always smoked marijuana, a.k.a. weed. And uh, we used to get high, man. We was in college. We used to get high every day. In fact, they have a lot to do with why I dropped out of college um, and why I just started to, you know, get more into the streets and stuff like that. And then, you know, stuff that I ain't have no business, you know, messing around with all the girls and being a womanizer and all that stuff, going to the clubs, you know, drinking all the booze, going to all the parties. Little did I know. I was losing, I was giving away energy, you know, I wasn't holding any energy for myself so that myself can grow. I wasn't actually trying to find out who I really was. I was actually just living in everybody else's world. You know, I was just living with the realities that were before me. I wasn't creating my own reality. I wasn't using my mind to create my own reality. You know, I didn't realize the power that was in me at the time. So I was just out there naked. You know, with one leaf over my profit. I mean, and so, you know, I did the drugs, man. Um, I did cocaine. You know, I wasn't really big, big or heavy with cocaine or anything like that, but I did it. You know, and I was, I was doing it, and I was just rushing off of it. You know, just using it as a rush, man. And uh, for those of you who know, um, seen my one of my previous videos about liquor. And stuff like that. I was a big time liquor drinker, like all the time, man. But I wasn't really addicted. Like I wasn't like um, just overly bugging out for some alcohol. Like oh, I gotta have it. I'm shaking. Oh my god. Oh, get the jitters. Oh, I'm scratching. Oh, give me some. Give me some. Give me some. No, I wasn't like that. I was just like, you know, we hanging with the. You know, you already know. We just hanging out and we doing it socially. But it, the socialness was like too frequent. It was like every day. Like oh my god. And you know, like I just really began to fade, man. And, I had to come back to myself, you know, and I just, I knew that I was looking bad in front of other people's eyes who I thought, thought highly of me. And so, um, you know, I had to make a change. So I started to go on the inner part of me. Um, I had to calm down and, you know, just know that I got to do some deeper soul searching. And I just, that's just what I did. Um. So, excuse me, guys, I'm getting a little more emotional. Uh, another thing that I used to do, you know, um, that was real bad on my life, but I definitely changed from negative to positive was, you know, hanging around the wrong people, you know. I hung around people that I didn't have no business being around, but I didn't know that at the time. I'm just having fun. I'm young and dumb, you know. And um, so I was hanging around a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people who were up to no good, you know, those same people who I was smoking the weed with and, you know, going to the clubs with and all this good stuff that I thought at the time was good stuff. Um, gangs. I was involved in gang activity. I didn't, I wasn't really, <laughs> I wasn't really like doing anything crazy, anything, but I was definitely in the environment. I was definitely around the people. 
all the time and we were actually we were actually like just doing bad stuff. Like that was our high and our rush. Our high and rush was do bad stuff. And we did bad stuff and it made us feel good. We feel like, man, we did something great today because we didn't know that we were empty. We didn't know that we were empty on the inside and you know, like I remember a friend of mine, um, he stole this businessman's briefcase. He's hoping that it had money in it or whatever. Like he he literally just walked into a spot and he saw the man put down his briefcase and he walked up and took it and ran. And that was like one of his um missions and he actually earned a lot of points in the gang and i'm just like what the hell is this gang stuff about i want out <laughs> like y'all playing a game or something like a real game to be a gang but anyway i wasn't too heavily involved in it but i did experience it and um that's that and i grew from it because i realized you know what this is not the crowd of people that i want to be around this is not the this is not who i am so you got to realize who you are you know, if you don't realize who you are and what you expect for yourself, you're going to always be carried along by people who consider themselves big, macho, powerful leaders, beautiful, all this stuff. They're not really who they say they are. They don't really like you the way you think they like you. They don't really love you or have your their best interests at heart for you. You know, they just want you to be a part of the clique. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you know like i don't want to be a part of the clique no more because you're going to go on the inside and i hope that you're doing that now like keep doing that that's what makes you grow as a person to the point you can live this positive lifestyle you know and today i posted a video on facebook um and it said imagine if you were here and i did that simply because it takes you going there in your mind first in order for you to go to waikiki hawaii i mean you have to literally know that hey i'm I'm able to go to Waikiki, Hawaii. Like, if I really, really put my mind to it, I can go to Waikiki, Hawaii. You know, and that's just how I feel. You know, like, you just have to be there in your mind, guys. You don't have to have anything obtained yet. All you have to do is just gear your mind to know that you have it already or that you're going to get it by any means necessary. But you're not going to step on anybody's toes or do anything negative, of course. But by any means necessary of good intentions, anything good, you're going to get to where you want to go. You're going to get what you want to have. You know, and so always know that your mind is powerful. You have to be there in your mind first. And um, I mean, this is this is overcoming adversities, guys. The struggle is real. The struggle is hard. You ain't the only one that's going through something. I can tell you that now. You know, everybody's going through something. But like I said, people, people keep it on the low, low. And they'll try to look like they got it going stuff like they they try to look like they don't have any problems like but they really do have problems they undercover disguise behind closed doors secret they really got problems Shh, they don't want me to tell you this but they really got problems too but that's okay because we all do you know but it, it, the difference is don't go out there acting a the fool and you don't have to show your problems by being ignorant and that's what a lot of people get it twisted at carry yourself with integrity you know, don't you don't have to show people that you bad. Who cares? That's ignorance. Show people that you're intelligent. Show people that you're wise so that you'll get opportunities. So doors will open for you. So great people will come into your life because great people are attracted to other great people. If you're acting like a great person who's good, who's loving, who's caring, who's cheerful, who's happy, people going to come to you and want to chill with you. Duh. You know, I have to tell people that all the time, guys. I'll be like, yo. You think neg be I used to I tell my friends, you know, my bad friends, like, yo, you think being negative is cool? Like, bro, being positive is cool. They were like, shut up. And I'm like, yo, 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 chill, chill. <laughs> but nah, seriously, guys, man, you got you gonna go through stuff if you wanna go somewhere. That's just plain and simple. You didn't get in this not to grow. You got you gotta grow in order to get where you gotta go. And so you're gonna go through stuff. So that's why I don't like to hear people complaining and, and griping and and moaning about, you know, what ain't right, you know, it, okay, but you want to go here, you know, it takes effort to actually use a car, you got to put gas in it, you got to get it fixed up, you got to put new tires on it, you got to wash it, it takes effort to go somewhere, anywhere, to do anything, so guys, I hope this emotional video, which I'm going to put in the emotional category section on YouTube, I hope this inspires you, it's a little bit about me and how I overcame things, please subscribe, click the very first link at the bottom of this video, subscribe as an official Realm Team member, See you next time. Peace.